Welcome to this edition of our Client Spotlight podcast. This episode, we turn the spotlight onto ourselves at Landmark PLC and the University of Arts London as we visit their Fine Art Graduate Show. For nearly a decade, Landmark has awarded the coveted Landmark Fine Art Prize to a recipient at each of the colleges, Wimbledon, Chelsea and Camberwell. In this podcast, we go behind the scenes to speak to the winners themselves, the Dean of Chelsea Art College, George Blacklock, and our Chairman, David Todd. We asked David how the award came to be. It started about 10 years ago when uh, my niece Catherine invited me to her degree show at Wimbledon College of Art. Um, She mentioned at the time that students often found it difficult to provide the funds for their degree catalogue. Um, And having an interest in contemporary art, together with a need to place artwork in our serviced offices, um, it it, it struck me that a sponsorship might might provide um, a synergy between ourselves and the college, uh, and at the same time um, help the students in their chosen career. George Blacklock, Dean of Chelsea College of Art, tells us about the relationship between Landmark PLC and the UAL. Well, Landmark and I go back a long way um, because I was Dean of Wimbledon and Landmark came into the university through Wimbledon. Um, So David and Richard came to Wimbledon frequently and uh, we developed um, a kind of donation that they were very kindly gave to the college at the time uh, which incorporated assistance to the students for their catalogue and uh, a prize we developed a prize out of that donation as well Um, and I don't know whether it was following my move to Chelsea or not or whether um, it's more likely that Dave and Richard wanted to expand on this and they decided to take in uh, both Chelsea and Camberwell into this uh, programme So uh, we benefit from, each of the colleges benefits from uh, a quantity of money that goes towards the students for their final degree show Mm catalogue and uh, there is a landmark prize at each college. So what criteria is there for the prize? Art, as as you know, is very subjective. But we we have two or three, um, I suppose, underlying disciplines and techniques that we look for. Um, One, I guess, is what we might call an intellectual provenance. In other words, the thought process that is applied behind the work, um, and which is often built up during the, um, the, the graduates or the students course. Um, another one, uh, particularly at Wimbledon, which has a long history of of drawing disciplines um, is is technical ability and um, a, a very difficult one to uh, be able to describe it, it it often screams at you when you look at a piece of work you, you just see the quality um, and of course visual impact um, we, we all look at various works and decide almost immediately where, whether we like them or not and um, that, that also applies to the work or the prize winners that we select. We asked David why each piece won the Fine Art Prize. We selected one, one graduate from each of the colleges, at, so Wimbledon, Chelsea and, and, and uh, Camberwell. Um, it's, I suppose, if we started with, with uh, the winner at, um, at Wimbledon, Heather Green, she, she provided three visually stunning canvases. Um, and she, she displayed an absolute natural understanding of, of tone and colour. Um, and in addition to the prize, we, we, we bought two of her works for the Landmark Collection. Heather talked about her process. Um, the inspiration kind of originated in just looking at colour because I was originally kind of doing landscapes at the beginning of this year and I'm, I'm very interested in like nature and kind of like intuitive painting and um, trying to make things look like things without 
painting things, which is kind of, you know, like if you look at a cloud and you're like, oh, that's a dog kind of thing, like that, but in a painting, which is really difficult to do. Um, but then my tutor this year was um, Phil Allen, and he was kind of like, why don't you just try and experiment and kind of let go of the reins a bit and see what you can do? So I, I went really into colour, and it was all kind of chaotic. And, um, and then I was kind of like, there's something missing from them, and they're kind of a bit too pretty, or they're just, they were just missing some kind of tension. So that's when the kind of geometric shapes and the linear forms came in. Um, which I looked into for a while. So it was all kind of a developing process. So I'm very much a process painter anyway. So it was kind of, it was good that it developed over the course of the year. Um, Billy Crosby at Camberwell created exciting um, and very mature pieces. And I was particularly taken by his work entitled Rapunzel. Um, which was a, a mixed media acrylic, ceramic and coins on board. Not suitable unfortunately f in a corporate environment, um, however uh, we felt him a very very worthy winner. Billy told us about the inspiration for the piece. In particular say the inspiration for the shutters, the door piece. Um, one moment, like I was saying, when you get that sort of inspired thing and it really makes you think or make something turn over. As I saw this massive 15th century uh, French door at the v &A, and a lot of my work is sort of, uh, it had this like huge sort of emotive weight and like sense of time and scale and it was also very beautiful, sort of like a picture. That's because it was sort of like the real thing, just like pulled out of its time and it's funny how you like personally like relate to something like that. So my work is sort of a lot about like the theatrical and remaking something and sort of like a simulation of it and like how does that, when you can like pick apart something and show the guts of it and like rebuild it, like how do you then have a relationship to it? So this sort of work is then sort of, because it's all fake, it's sort of it's more sort of fantastical, like, like I don't know, like a fairy tale-ish or more sort of theatrical really. Over at Chelsea, um Francis Voss scooped the prize for, for his work, comprising of four beautifully hung silk banners, um, screen printed with battle reenactments. Uh, again, a, a highly individual piece, and um, we, we uh, unfortunately, again, it wasn't suitable for um, wall hanging in, in our in our offices, but we again we found we thought that he was a um, certainly a very worthy winner and stood head and shoulders above many of his peers. Francis explains the piece. This um, this piece is uh, four sort of fabric hanging pieces that sort of I suppose resemble flags or tapestries or something along those lines, and that. They each depict it's, it's two sets of two photos and sort of supposed to represent some kind of delay between each photo. They were taken sort of uh, just a, a second or two apart and uh, they were taken at the um, at a battle reenactment, which was the uh, Battle of Agincourt reenactment that was uh, last, last summer, which was the 600 year anniversary of that. And I'd just been sort of uh, working with the idea of being a Sort of reenactment just being a, a, a strange a strange phenomenon and sort of a, kind of a, a frustrated mode of remembrance which kind of yeah it, it sort of fails but at the same time puts on this this amazing kind of theater and there was there was a lot going on in it so I'd, I'd taken this body of photographs and then I yeah I uh, worked with these and uh, decided to yeah put, print them on fabric just sort of as a, a material choice to, to work with I, I sort of like the way it, it hung and sort of crumpled and had this sort of this this sort of air of slippage or something being a bit more unstable than that. We asked George what his hopes were for the students graduating. I want them to control the creative industries. Chelsea is a significant college both in terms of the national scene and internationally. I think that our alumni will inevitably graduate through in the creative industries to be uh, managing and running those industries eventually. So what's next for the prize winning artwork? We asked David where Heather's work would be displayed. We, we've earmarked um, a very prominent 
wall um, and it will form the backdrop to our own main reception or they will form the backdrop there's two campuses and um, we're very excited but we can't wait to hang them and and uh, ask invite Heather over to uh, to view the work all of the work that we've purchased from students uh, are displayed in our offices and, and all of the students are invited um, to to come and see them in situ so that's it for our special arts podcast you can look at all the work featured in the podcast on our supporting blog we'd like to thank all the artists and george blacklock for taking time to contribute to this episode